guys, it's Casey and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a really unexpected video. It's definitely not something that I had planned on my calendar. I also want to warn you guys, I think they're like cutting grass. I'm going to try to talk a little bit louder. Hopefully I am louder than you hear that. I really just wanted to get this video up for you guys. They literally started as soon as I sat down. So I just want to apologize for that. But anyway, as I was saying, this video was definitely 100% unexpected. I had no intentions on doing this video because one, I didn't even know this product was launching and two, I didn't expect to get it in the mail. So as you can see from the title of this video, this is going to be about the new Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. That is kind of a tongue twister. So Fenty Beauty is launching brand new lipsticks, which I know a lot of us might be excited about because for the most part, she has mainly matte lipsticks and, you know, glossy, shiny, moisturized lips are definitely in. So we're going to be trying on every single shade and I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts on it. Before we begin, you guys already know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm on Fenty Beauty's uh, Instagram right now and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about this product. So it comes in 10 different shades and it says, hey Fenty family, we're excited to share with you all a little something new that we had in the works. Our Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick is dropping in 10 easy to wear creamy and nourishing shades. Slip into the best of nudes to pops of shimmering color for all your FaceTime dates and virtual happy hours. Available June 5th at FentyBeauty.com. So that all already tells me that these lipsticks are going to be more moisturizing and nourishing. The colorful ones are going to have a bit of shimmer involved and they launch on June 5th. I will try to get in touch with Fenty Beauty and get more information and put it here in the video for you guys. So let's go ahead. I'm excited to try these on. I want to go ahead and start applying because the lips is ashy. Okay, the lips is ashy. So this is the packaging for the lipstick. Very traditional Fenty Beauty, that octagon shape. Let's go ahead and see what these are about. So this this one right here is called Quartz Candy and it is, it looks like it's clear with a pink reflex shimmer in it. So let's go ahead and try this on. So yeah, this is a, oh okay, it's actually really pretty. Because we have to get through 10 shades, I'm not going to apply this perfectly. I just kind of want you guys to see the color. But So this one is Quartz Candy. Really pretty color, actually, because it's clear. But you can definitely see the uh, pink reflex in it. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I can see it in person. So it's a really, really pretty color. This might be perfect for something like on the beach or whatever when you want a little bit on your lips, but obviously not full on color. So first impression on the feel. It's like kind of like a jelly feeling, very creamy. It's funny because I'm looking at it and I don't look like I have lipstick on, but it has that lipstick texture. All right, I have to taste it because you know lipstick begin in our mouth. Doesn't taste disgusting. <laughs> it doesn't taste disgusting. It's tolerable and it smells good. It smells good too. It's not an overbearing smell, but you can definitely smell something like kind of florally. Let's move on to shade number two. So shade number two is called Sugar Kiss and it's a really pretty pink color. Let's try this on. It's like a soft, soft pink. It's giving me very 2010 Nicki Minaj. <laughs> but not super opaque. So these, these are a little sheer. I can still see my natural lip color peek through, but you can still see the color payoff. So I'm sure you can build it up. If you were to completely cover your lips with lip liner, you can definitely cancel out the natural color of your lips. So this is Sugar Kiss. I do want to note that these are a very soft, formulation okay so you don't want to press too hard you don't want to twist the lipstick up too high and you do not want to have this lipstick in a hot climate you want to keep it in something cool because these will definitely melt they would definitely melt I actually even had a little you notice on my package that do not leave in hot temperatures and it came with like a cooling pack inside of it. So I ended up popping them in the fridge until I got ready because they were outside. So I don't know how long they were outside. I didn't want the lipsticks to be melted. So I did pop them in the fridge, but just be mindful of that very, very soft formula, which could be good because you're going to get that hydration that you want. But if you don't want your lipstick to melt. Okay. Yeah. So number three is going to be Tang Thang. That is such a cute name. I love it. I think Fenty Beauty definitely does the best when it comes to shade names. And this is 
and a really bright orange so let's see what this looks like this is tang thing really really pretty orange colors like a red orange you guys can clearly see is definitely more on the sheer side you can see my natural lip color but it's pretty this is a really good shade for the summer the next shade is going to be number four and it is called makeout break so makeout break is a really really pretty nude I can definitely see this being a lot of people's favorites because you know we love nude especially more on the sheer side and glossy this is makeout break and I honestly really really like this one I like this one a lot it's very very natural if you're looking for a natural lipstick this is something you can go for it's definitely perfect for every day I like it a lot with a nice brown lip liner this might be the one I end up with at the end like when I come back and give you guys my final thoughts nine times out of ten it's going to be with this lipstick on because it's really pretty I like this one a lot. I really do. Okay, let's go ahead and try on number five. Number five is called Glazed, and it is another neutral color but more pink undertones. Let's try this one. This one is very similar to my natural lip color, so it's another great one for every day. So if you like something that has more of that pink undertone for your everyday lipstick, go with glaze but if you want something with the more brown undertone go with make out break this one is glazed number six shade is going to be retro rose this is going to be another neutral pink deeper than glaze if you want a little bit more pop of color but also really perfect for every day the next shade is a number seven i think it's pronounced goji gang i'm not too sure i might be pronouncing that all wrong but it's going to be another more so neutral but going even deeper definitely is more rose think of it like i know this sounds crazy but like a neutral red that's what i'm getting from this because you know you have bright bright reds this is like definitely a lot more toned down i like this one too this one's nice the next shade just based off the picture i feel like i'm really gonna like it this one's called cookies and cocoa this is number eight and it is a brown shade another neutral Okay, I thought the other one looked like my natural lip color. This one definitely looks like my lips. It's brown. It has more of like a gold reflect in it. The gold reflect in it is so pretty. It's so pretty. I don't know if you guys are seeing it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But in person, that little gold glisten is absolutely beautiful. It's very subtle, but very beautiful. I like that one a lot, actually. Number nine is called Bubble Rum. Okay, this is an even deeper brown shade. So I'm noticing when you first open them when they're brand new, you can't really see much of the reflect. But once you start to swatch it, it really comes out. And this is brown. This is straight up brown with a gold reflect yeah you really can't see it until you actually start to put it on that is just brown it's not my favorite just because when we start to reach deeper tones i don't really go the glossy route i more so stick with the matte and that super opaque look but this might be for someone for sure it's pretty but it's not it's not my favorite like i don't see myself picking this up every single day i don't know i feel like it's kind of mature in a sense mm. Not really me. And last but not least, we have Vamps Who Brunch. And according to this picture, it looks like it's going to be a deep purple shade. Oh yeah, it's straight up purple and it looks like it has blue reflex. So this might be the wild factor in the group. For the most part, these colors were all pretty neutral, um, which is really a surprise for me because I feel like Fenty's always coming out with really crazy colors so this is that one shade that's very on brand for Fenty and the rest are more on the neutral tones so oh yeah this is purple with blue glitter so this is Vamps Who Brunch this one is definitely my least favorite out of the group it's a very unique fun color but it's just not me personally. I don't really go for frosty lipsticks when they are bold colors. So it's not my favorite. It's cool. I know people would love this. I definitely know people would love a shade like this. It's just not my cup of tea personally. But it's an interesting color. 
Okay guys, and that is going to be all 10 shades of the new Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Lipsticks. So basically how I feel is they're really, really beautiful. I think the formulation is great. They feel really smooth on the lips. I will say make sure you exfoliate before applying these because I think they would cling on to any dead skin you might have on your lips because the very first lipstick I had put on, I had to take it off to exfoliate to make it look a little bit better. So make sure your lips are exfoliated. Now this is not for the person that wants 100% opaque pigmented lipstick this is a lot more sheer and obviously going to be more on the shiny side of things this is not going to be matte at all so if that's what you're looking for this is not it you definitely want to do the matte moselle lipsticks this is the perfect throw in your bag lipstick it's small it's a really small compact so that's awesome it can fit in a clutch or a wallet on chain or whatever and it's a it's definitely a great lipstick you could just touch up I feel like with matte lipsticks it's not as easy to touch up you're gonna have to take it off and reapply it and and just do the most this you can just go ahead and apply a second layer and be good to go now I did put on a makeout break with a little lip liner and I love the way it looks I love the way it looks you can definitely alter the colors and add a little bit more dimension with these lipsticks with your lip liner I think they're cool I think they're a great addition to the Fenty Beauty product lineup already as you guys can see they're really going the more natural route for this summer we have the cream blushes and the cream bronzers everything is definitely more skin like and glass like finishes and I feel like these lipsticks fall underneath that category perfectly so this is going to be for the wake up and go the no makeup makeup look kind of girl the not so experienced in makeup artistry kind of girl because they're less intimidating because you can really control how much product you use so I think they are great and I highly recommend picking up maybe two or three shades especially the neutral shades for your everyday summer look so I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video bye